Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 kicks off this upcoming week, and today we're going to be breaking down everything that you need to know ahead of its launch. From multiplayer, Warzone, and Zombies in Modern Warfare 3, we've got you covered, so as we go along, drop your thoughts on what you'd like to see or what you're interested in seeing in Season 1 of Modern Warfare 3. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, especially if you're part of that 60% of viewers not subscribed, and make sure to check out G Fuel for up to 30% off with code ESPRESSO to fuel your COD and Warzone grind this Season 1 of Modern Warfare 3. For now, let's jump into it. First things first, a little shame shameless plug here, be here on the channel as of tomorrow. We'll have early access footage breaking down the weaponry and the maps of Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 multiplayer, along with other things. That will start us off here. We, of course, have new content coming on Tuesday and then into the launch on Wednesday, but that's something to keep an eye out for. That's one of the first things you should know of if you want to check out early stuff. Then, though, jumping into, like, official stuff, let's talk about preloads, because as of recording this video, there is no definitive answer just yet, but based off of what we've seen with prior seasons in Modern Warfare 2, Vanguard, and such in recent years, Sony unfortunately seems to have a sort of exclusivity on preloads, but only by about like 24 hours. Everything else seems to go out when the update actually goes out on PC and Xbox, so I'd reckon that for at least PlayStation users, Tuesday's when you can keep an eye out for that we can maybe see this start to happen. It's not quite guaranteed to be that 24-hour period. I've seen it happen where like 15 hours before it ends up going live, sometimes like 17, sometimes 20 hours. It just seems to be around that day before mark that those do go out if we do have the availability of preload. But as for launch times of season one here, this is all one static launch time. Everywhere in the world launches at the exact same time. It's not like the launch of Modern Warfare 3, where it's a progressive rollout where that was something that it was midnight local time. So somebody in New Zealand could be playing for like 17 hours more or something than somebody on the East Coast or West Coast of the United States. That is not going to be happening here at this. Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 launches at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Mountain, 11 Central, noon Eastern, and then elsewhere in the world. That equates out to 5 p.m. in the UK, 6 p.m. in Berlin, Germany, 8 p.m. in Moscow, 2 a.m. in Seoul, South Korea, and 4 a.m. in Sydney, Australia. So just know that that is something that once that update goes out, we can download it and jump right into the content where there's honestly a decent bit to jump into at this season. Season 1 for basically every kind of player. Multiplayer, Warzone, Zombies, doesn't matter. But anyways, that's the launch times and when you can expect to jump into the content, but let's talk about the length of the season. Now, no specifics have been given just yet, but I'm wagering it's about like eight weeks long, which means that we'd see a mid-season update just after the new year and the start of season two around the beginning of February, seemingly around like February 7th. But content you can expect here as of season one, not to really reiterate a whole ton, we're gonna breeze past this kind of stuff, not go into super detail, We've already done that with the Warzone changes a couple of days ago and the multiplayer reveal earlier in the week. But for multiplayer, Season 1 of Modern Warfare 3 brings along the XRK Stalker Sniper, the Ram 7, the Storm Ender Launcher, the HRM 9 SMG, and the TAC Evolvery LMG. The maps we have Meet, Greece, and Rio with the Training Facility Gunfight map along with others that are being carried forward. You have the returning mode of All or Nothing along with additional modes coming in season. You have the new gameplay items of the Assassin Vest, which is Ghost at all times. It doesn't require require you to take that gear set of the Ghost TV camo, plus it also protects you while stationary. You also end up getting the EMP and Swarm as streaks returning here within Modern Warfare 3 Season 1. You have new weekly challenge sets that will grant you a brand new camo at the very end of it for completing all weeks of those camo challenges. You have the new operators, you have a new battle pass, and you have new prestige levels and rewards on top of all of that. Prestige going up to Prestige 5, so 250 levels that you can work with throughout this first upcoming season. You, of course, do also get a reward of a new MTZ 556 blueprint at the end if you end up getting that top level of 250, but that's where we're at for multiplayer. For Warzone, we have a lot of stuff in regards to changes, gameplay details, and all, but the very first and foremost thing you'll notice is that we have a new map of Urzikstan replacing Almazra and what we have right now within the Warzone Battle Royale experience. Plunder is going to be returning as well. You're going to still have the ability to play on Vondel and Ashika Island, but you're going to have a ton of gameplay changes, including all of the mechanic sets from Modern Warfare for three multiplayer, like slide canceling, tack stance, ADS while sliding, running while reloading. Stim boost is coming back as well, that tactical boost in Warzone for the first time in the Warzone air quote two era. They've dropped that too since, but while it won't be as powerful as the original, it'll be something you can still use as a sort of evasive maneuver. We're gonna have a ton of other stuff like the backup pistol, improved water visibility, the manual gas mask, dedicated ammo slots, loot rarity, classic red dots, improved loot spread, new perks, 
base perks as well as we talked about one of my favorite features i think here coming out of the update for modern warfare 3 and warzone that being the fact you have tack pads commando gloves quick grip gloves climbing boots and overkill all by default you don't have to take a perk to get any of those benefits they're always going to be enabled whenever you jump in so that's definitely awesome you have the new drivable train horizontal zip lines the big game bounty contract returning a new gulag and so on and so forth so you have a ton of stuff here coming within warzone with the launch and with season one and then zombies you're going to end up getting new gameplay items like new missions in an act four the dark ether rifts a new wonder weapon and new schematics for the dog bone golden armor plate and ether blade so that's all the content you can expect to see with season one and then some again as the season rolls on but one of the big things here with the launch of season one is that you're actually going to see potentially some variable starting points here with the vault edition we now finally have the final piece of that sort of air quote bonus and what you ended up paying differently for coming into the game with season one here a lot of players obviously ended up getting the fate weapon skins and that nemesis operator pack but with season one now you do finally end up getting that sort of credit for the black cell battle pass within season one so the upgraded battle pass you have access to all 100 tiers plus the additional black cell items that come along with it as well as for season one only here 50 additional tier skips so you get those base 20 that you get out of the bundle but it gives you 30 extra tiers on top of that so you start out with 50 credits for various different items within the battle pass again the way the battle pass sector system works you can kind of pick and choose how you want to go about that and if you do start with the black cell starting point there you can end up getting both the new weapons because of the blueprints associated with them just in those adjacent sectors to the black cell starting point it's only costing you five of those tokens that you'd have to redeem to get both of those adjacent sectors so just know there's going to be a little bit more of an added bonus for some people as opposed to others with season one as well but again beyond that point season two three four five and six you're not going to see that anymore then as for the next thing you should know about there will be more events incoming within modern warfare 3 season one we've seen a decent number of them already actually from the call of duty endowment one to the makarov one to the new 141 event that is live as of right now but these will continue on but also we'll see new seasonal and weekly rewards that grant players a camo by the end as well something that honestly i love that system it encourages you to play it encourages you to keep coming back but again with something tangible at the end as opposed to just like say adding another prestige or something like that for me having something to actually earn over the course of the season is something that will bring me back more so over than anything else so that's something you can look forward to there will be new camo rewards again likely coming with those weekly xp events will sledgehammer keep up with this and give this 52 events over the course of the next year probably not but we will likely be seeing at least one or two more of these throughout season one based off of the frequency that we got within the first three to four weeks here of the preseason of modern warfare 3 and then finally we will have an overall Cadmus event coming up that we know of absolutely it's already been detailed a little bit in the reveal blog so that's something that will be a seasonal event that will have in-game and out-of-game changes adjustments in terms of aesthetic and then challenges alongside all of that kind of stuff you'll of course see the reskins of maps we end up having a shipment Christmas variation as well as a high-rise Christmas variation as well so you'll have all that kind of stuff to play around with which is definitely nice and the final thing I want to touch on here in regards to content is that mid-season again while we don't have an explicit ET or date of confirmed launch my guess it's going to be somewhere around that sort of January the 3rd mark maybe January the 10th if that's the case that'd be a funny birthday gift for me but with mid-season we will end up seeing ranked play come into effect and online again for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer this will be acting exactly like seemingly Modern Warfare 2 there hasn't been any mention that there will be any sort of changes in ranking system in modes played in other rule sets like that other than what is just again fluid with what we have in the CDL competition. So that's something you can look forward to a little later on down the line. And a final note in regards to what you can expect with season one, not that I really care too much about it because I'm probably not going to interact with it all that much, but the shop will be returning with Modern Warfare 3 content as of season one. Of course, it is still active and available to purchase in Modern Warfare 3 right now, but it's all Modern Warfare 2 content. This will now introduce a ton of bundles into the equation with Modern Warfare 3 content as of season one. So that said, that is basically everything you need to know about season one in a nutshell for Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. So that is where I'm going to call it. Before we wrap everything up, make sure to check out my friends over at G Fuel. Again, code Espresso can fuel your COD grind, either for your weapon camos, anything you want to rank up in regards to weapon levels. If you're grinding out Warzone in the new map of Urzikstan, whatever the case, G Fuel has you covered. To me, they're like my cup of coffee in the morning. Have them just to start my day, gets my productivity flowing. For me, I'd highly recommend the flavors of the Morbius Nectarine flavor, Hype Sauce, Strawberry Banana, Pink Drip, my team of 
Carnage, our flavor of Pog Juice that just recently launched. Those are all phenomenal. Can't recommend them enough. So if you guys want to check those out, again, go to Espresso and you up to 30% off your entire order linked down below. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of season one here? You're looking forward to anything in particular? Not so much. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. We're going to do all things Modern Warfare 3 as we gear up for all that's ahead. And of course, again, stick around for tomorrow. We're going to end up having early access, showing off the new weapons, maps, all that kind of stuff. So love to see you here and of course, have you in the community. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all of it. For now though, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.